Okay. Okay. Hey. Countless children in Beijing know this man. Former Bundesliga coach Eckhard Krautsun became a public figure when he coached China's under-20 national team 10 years ago. Good pass. Here he's on a visit to see how the next generation of footballers is coming along. At the moment, there's too little thought in the game. It's too hectic. But the boys are enthusiastic. The Chinese players are very disciplined. They like to learn and they learn fast. Kao Tsun spends much of his time in China, but lives in Germany. Sometimes he feels a little isolated in China. It's not a friendly country like Japan or Thailand or the Philippines, where people smile more and more friendliness comes across. Chinese people concentrate very hard on their work. They're very disciplined. Kao Tsun has worked in 13 countries. He's coached the national teams of Kenya, Canada, Tunisia and the Philippines, along with a raft of clubs. Germans are well respected abroad. Thanks to the national team's success, German coaches working abroad have massive benefits. And coming from the country of the world champions, you have an even bigger advantage. For his comprehensive work outside of Germany, Eckhard Krautsun has been nominated as German football ambassador. It's not just for his coaching jobs. Krautsun also works as an expert. He gives lectures to functionaries and coaches from the Chinese Football League at the invitation of China's FA. You have to scout the right players. It is very difficult in a huge country like China to do that, but if you do not have professional scouts who know how to identify a talent, you will not have the best players. Krautsun believes that teams can only reach the top through youth development. He uses the German system as an example of how successful that setup can be. UEFA president Michel Platini is in the audience. He's also been invited to speak here. The Chinese football authorities have changed the way they think about football development, in part thanks to Kautsun. Maybe previously we think that, OK, come, let's invite some famous coach, some famous maybe former player, some, you know, coaching quite famous club or quite famous national team. But after that, after he left China, we realized that maybe we should think another way and maybe we should focus on okay our youth system invite some famous some excellent youth coach yeah. you can't walk in and throw your weight around you have to act naturally and give off a natural authority they can tell if you're a con man or whether you've got some kind of knowledge they want to learn and they don't want coaches who have come here just to earn money Right now, there are almost 120 million kids at a good football age of between 8 and 12 playing here. So they're the future, if they're trained well. But Krautsun says there are factors outside of the Chinese training programs that affect the youngsters, like mentality. The kids are under enormous pressure, and the culture of discipline inhibits their natural flair. Individualism isn't supported here. It's always teamwork. I've always called attention to the fact that society here is built on teamwork and the collective, which isn't a bad thing. But in football, you also need individuals who decide matches. Athletes are drilled here, which is fine in high diving. But in football, you can't just drill. You have to let the players be creative and give them the freedom to find solutions themselves and make decisions on the pitch. And when I say hop, all colors must be in one corner.
Okay. Kaiser. There are many young talents. The problem is they're not coached properly. If I see that, I take over a group and within weeks it starts to look like football. Passing, passing, Hotcha! Woo! Poor finishing, China finishing. Asiatische Krankheit nennt man das. Asian disease. They don't make goals. China has only qualified for the World Cup once. To try and bring more success with the next generation, the country's Ministry for Education and Sport has introduced a football funding program in schools. Enthusiasm is growing all the time. The training is fun. Mr. Kratzun is a good coach. He's taught us a lot. So anticipation, we call it, and quick thinking is the foundation for a good footballer. Players who are too slow from the head to the feet will not make it, will not improve. So I, th I come back here for one week coaching them, and then after one week they know what is football. Okay. So you want to come back here? <laughs> I will stay here one week and then we, I take some one or two to Europe. Okay. Okay. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.